here, EG versus NP. Oh, and he's uh, Envy already off to a good start, but they are going to roam into this now. The crush is going to be there. One raise. Will they have enough to bring him down, though? The right Got clicks, him. they do get the first blood. Eternal Envy, with a little bit of help from SGG, takes down Sumail. Oh, Sumail caught again. Maybe in some trouble here. They turn for the cold snap. The Sunstrike is not quite going to be on the mark, but they're going to jump in with Crit as well. Sumail is already dead, though, and Crit, whoo, taking a lot of damage for them. I think initiation. Ooh. This is a good way to make it happen, though. You can find a kill here onto Envy, and this is so great for them. Uh, pretty much always by 10 minutes is they don't want to be caught up by rotation like this. Oh, they're onto him, but maybe he's going to be able to turn this back around. They're onto Zai instead. Sunquery comes down, and they are able to kill off MSS, but they're able to find Zai in return. He's usually the person you want to jump first. Oh, MSS here might get caught out. They spot him. There's the initiation that comes out. Global as well to follow. MSS is going to die. It looks like they're also able to take out the Dazzle at the start of the fight. Meatball a little bit off the mark, but still, Aoi is forced out of here. Eternal Envy trying to pop the ulti. Not doing a ton of damage off the back this and it looks like now EG trying to bail they've already found two kills but don't want to take this fight too much further either hold or break and this is going to be really tough as well butterfly was completed a little while ago for envy he is got the range all the range that he could need and well they're going to get a nice little stun combo here is there going to be any follow-up emp to burn the mana don't want to have to pop the bkb for that one but he is out of mana now looks like that's just going to be that barracks going down not a great way to stop it Old snap to follow. Arteezy going to jump in. Gets the leash. Oh, what Still crush. does have it. They're able to catch on to three. Off to the side. And now Life Stealer is just all over them. Does look like they're going to be able to get this melee barracks. And, well, just like that. Well, Envy's still kind of low here. They're thinking about turning this back around. Lifestealer actually is going to end up falling. They take down Envy as well. So that's oh, no. two already dead. Envy were looking so good a second ago. And now potentially going to end up it's losing up more. Oh, the, the stun combo right, right out of the ages. Forward. Wasn't able to get the BKB off as of yet. And Envy is going to fall. They almost take down Arteezy. Well, maybe with this Aegis, EG can be the ones to go high ground. We'll have to see. But... It's NP's opportunity to contest. Oh my god, they're getting into position right now where they want to come and take this fight. Owie walk in, leading the charge. They're in on top of Roche. They spot him out already, trying to take it down. Able to snatch the Aegis is Sumail, but BKB comes out. Envy drops the Requiem of Souls. Maybe going to be able to bring down Sumail. That is going to be the Aegis already down. Can they make any more of it? They're already here on top of SBG. Able to get out, actually, with that Slither and Crush. And it looks like Crit trying to turn now onto Envy. He does not have any BKB left. Sumail is also going to get the Yule after trying to escape and will be able to run away. It's going to barely be able to survive from that. Oh my god, he's so low, but is going to die to the boars. Value right there coming out from MSS's boars. And Arteezy maybe going to end up falling to boot here. Right clicks coming through. That was a wonderful team fight for NP, oh, and, and it continues lights. over to the side. The universe jumps back in. They're able to take down Envy. Somehow they turn this back around, and now Arteezy's coming back into fight. The kite battle is going to continue, and with Crit coming in, he's going to be able to jump now onto Aoi, who is going to start to fall. Rage timer going to wear off in a second, and then they've got a stun from Crit, I believe. Stun, silence, combo, and that's going to be the kill. Unstoppable streak. EG are actually going to be the ones to go for this initiation. They've been able to find one. Actually, Arteezy in a lot of trouble, but can they get the counterplay? Sumail jumps forward, gets a tornado onto two. There's going to be the hoof stomp coming out as well, and it looks like for the moment they're controlling MSS on the other side of the map, 1437 forced to grave himself. They're trying to back out, able to jump away from that tornado. Very low in the fourth step away. Looks like they're trying to find this. They get the roar off as well. Everybody needs to back out, though. Eternal Envy standing tall in front of his MP brothers. Arteezy looking for the kill himself. Another big hoof stomp. They'd be able to find two. Can they bring him down, though? The counterplay is going to be able to control and kill off Crit there. But it looks like Arteezy oh. is going to end up falling. Eternal Envy just too strong in this one with the triple. That tornado cooldown is quite good. NP still make good positioning. Sumail did it botched up to the top lane. They don't have him here for this fight. He, They are going to die. Oh, man, Arteezy takes a ton of damage. They're trying to go for the counterplay, but they're going to end up losing Melee Barracks. Maybe going to find some more off the back of it. Envy, Glimmer Cape for the moment, still staying alive here. It does look, though, like they've been able to turn it a three-person Slither and Crush again. Envy trying to force this issue, and they will back out after taking that Melee Barracks as... Another lift up, MSS still in some trouble. They find the kill on the Shadow Fiend. Maybe going to find more. It was looking good for a second, but now it's going to be quite a difficult one. And looks like the tier three is going to drop here. 
Oh, Whoa, four stacks four forward. Stacks. Really well played. The follow up stun, the sun strike will be enough to kill him. He's dead for 100 seconds, and now NP in a ton of trouble. Owie going to get lifted as well, but I think that this is just going to be eyes on the prize, trying to take him down. Stunned up for the moment is Arteezy, but it looks like he still might be able to find this kill. There's the cold snap as well, four step away as well as the grave. Owie turns to fight with the shrine help. I think that they can just focus down objectives at this point if they want to. Sumail maybe going a little bit too far forward. Oh my god! He got away on nothing there again. Oh, MSS oh, looking the for the play. There's the roar, but there are so many four staffs. They're not going to be able to catch him. Now they don't have Roar. Now they're going to turn on MSS, four-stepping away his universe. Well, the four-step away from the Sun Strike, but he is still going to get turned upon here by Arteezy. Grave to keep him alive. Trying to get the kill. Shrine it popped as well. They're able to take down one. That's actually Sumail dying. So maybe they can find more here as Zai turned upon another hoof stomp. These fights have just gone on for an entire game, it feels like. Arteezy finds the pounce and the leash onto Lifestyle. Another Grave coming out he from no 1437. Mana. Lift up now on MSS. The meatball is going to drop as well. Not quite dead as of yet. They're going to be able to back out. Sun the strike sunshine. hits it. Oh, what a play. Oh, another lift up. They're trying to force this issue so hard. Envy is still dead for another 15 seconds. They're holding on to these barracks like none other. Oh, my God. Is he going to die to this? Right clicks coming through. No, the tornado. Tornado. They got the kill. There's the lift up and the shoot down. Oh, Samel's a sniper, man. He's just peeked off two different kills now. They could go in for this, though, and they're looking for initiation onto Arteezy. Mid lane, able to get the crutch off. Dark Pack was not there, but they throw out the Lotus Orb, keeping him alive for the moment. Reflect the roar as well. Cheese ended up getting eaten there as well, I believe, and it looks like they're able to get the counter stun now. They're controlling up Owie. Meatball is going to drop, but that's on the two BKB targets. MSS looking to try and find enough damage there, and they are going to be able to bring down Arteezy. Now looking for more. Zai is going to start to get ran down here, and maybe they can take him down. A tornado lift up onto Envy to slow the push. Sumail jumps in. Sheep stick onto one. They're going to get a Tiffany Blast push back onto two. Ice nice wall as well, but another big crush comes in. SVG saving the day. Sumail able to tornado just barely away, and it does look like he's going to be able to escape with that one. Sunstrike comes down, not doing nearly enough damage. Universe, is he going to fall? They're going to have another tornado in a second if they want to throw it from far away, but Universe is already gone. Crit is going to be able to blink out, but NP with the momentum. Nice. A great crushes by SVG all game long. God, look at that range that you get from the Shadow Fiend as well. Just a monster at this point. They get the counter crush coming in. Meatball is going to be dropped again and out of mana right now. Envy's going to pop the BKB, turns to fight, pop the Satanic as well. He's taking a lot of damage here. Roar to try and create that little bit of separation. You have the Ice Wall down as well, slowing up a couple heroes, but that's now crit dead. He is does not have a buyback. 90 seconds out of there. They're still turning on the Lifesteal, trying to bring him down. The Sheep Stick to follow, and it looks like they aren't quite going to be able to have enough damage to run him down. So NP... Smart follow-up plays. Well, he is there trying to kill it all off with the tornado. They're already on top of and killing off this life steal. He's taking so much damage. What a it's going to be Clever Cape. They find a four man crush, but it's not enough to save their life stealer. They're on top of Envy at this point. Four step forward, trying to bring him low. Is he going to end up dying here? They're going to buy back on the life stealer, try and get him back into the fight. The crush from Universe only catches on to MSS. They get the silence to follow. They try and hit down this melee barracks. They still haven't been able to do as much structural damage as they might have wanted, but there's the initiation to come in. Aegis still there. He's going to be stunned up, brought down in just a second. Grave to keep him alive. The counter crush. Sumail is going to end up dying there to Aoi, and now the counter play is going to oh. come out. They're all over him. Universe starting to fall low. Can they get another crush? That is going to be one. Crit doing his best. It's a three-person stun and a five-person magnetize, but it's not nearly enough as NP are going to be able to take this team fight and potentially even the game. Uh, I mean, fantastic. But they're really, really, they do so well in that regard. Darkseer and the Earth Spirit away from uh, potential gank on AY. In fact, they're going to get a kill on Tinker, looks this like. This is Maybe. so much damage. The secondary root, he is falling low, and looks like they're going oh. to be able to get the kill on him. Oh, Sumail drop and oh, roll for the kill. Nicely done. He is hard as to go for a full push against it. Well, here's the setup, trying to find the kill on the jug. With Zai here, this is never going to happen. And in fact, they might end up losing more for it than they bargained. The pullback, vacuum wall as well. They're controlling them up. MSS, his ulti's been popping. It looks like they are going to be able to bring down that Leshrac as well. And probably this Abaddon as well. Healing Ward in the trees. He's microing to the best of his ability. They do manage to bring it down finally. And now Arteezy in a lot of trouble. But can they get it? No, he's able to juke away. They have the grave as well to keep him alive. MSS's shield did not pop there to get the kill. We're have traps set up by EG. They're going to bait out something and see if the meepo goes on it. But 
Wow. He's got his first big kill here. Yeah, this is a nice one to pick up, although maybe going to be able to bait it out. They get the Grave off in time, and now Owie's in a little bit of trouble. Can they bring down Sumail, though, in time? They oh, aren't no. going to be able to get the kill. He's barely alive. A little unlucky. You're going to feel like you're wasting so much time. Yeah, and then things like this happen where MSS gets caught out for a second. They'll be able to body block him, and, well, Meepo's going to actually jump in, try and bring him down. There's a lot of damage being dealt out, but he's about to evaporate as well. RTZ and that laser get shot out. Another vacuum into two of them. They're able to take down, at the very least, the Darkseer and the Jug. Now it's back around that 35-40 minute timing uh, that we were talking about. Close down the game by 45 minutes. Um, but I, I do think it's okay if they just want to... This would be a good way to get towards it. Now they've caught oh, him out. Tail bringing him low. They are going to get it, but the vacuum wall now down on absolutely everybody. There's no follow-up damage, though. They're not there. And now Crit trying to roll away. It's going to be able to make the escape. Reapplying Magnetize. They're trying to chase these guys down. Arteezy going in for the kill. They'll bring down Owie. Now 1437 also in trouble. Sumail is going to start going off. Rocket, lasers, every damn thing thrown at him. And 9 to 20 continuing it. Yeah, AUI's backed off of his push at top lane. I'm not sure. I think he kind of needed to keep that pressure there because EG is not leaving. No. Oh, good blink away. Universe, vacuum oh. wall completely off the mark, even with the added radius, and they've X'd him up for the moment as well, trying to bring him down. Arrow was not there to connect, and Arteezy starting to drop low. He does get great, but they still have the Fiendscript going. Right click's coming through. If they could kill him off here, it would be fabulous for him. It is just the Aegis, though, and Sumail still large and in charge in the background. SVG looking to go for a Nightmare. is going to be able to connect it, and, well, that's actually going to be the Dazzle out of the fight for the moment, but they don't have enough damage to bring down Arteezy at this point. So it kind of doesn't even end up mattering. Maybe with the Split Earth and all the spam. Ah, crits there as well. A really good stun. There's the vacuum on the three of them. There's an Omni Slash out there as well. Envy is going to drop. And it looks like Arteezy will be able to escape as well. They just can't get the healing ward in the background. It, they just can't get to it. That's the problem. Arteezy keeps pushing forward and forcing his ward backwards. And NP can't get that sustain item out of the way. And now ABBA finally going to drop. No more ulti left for him and EG will take what they came for. Both sets of barracks down. You have an E-Blade on Meepo, so maybe you have a chance there with some like huge burst, but it feels unlikely. We're applying it there onto RTZ as the tower is gonna start to drop, but they drop another healing ward, and there is still no answer for that. Another vacuum into the stone. It's gonna do a lot of damage here. Lesh needs to back out. We'll be able to escape for the moment. And actually, they've hexed up the Meepo who went forward. Isn't going to be able to use any of those items. Sumail, great reactions. And almost able to even kill off Meepo there. Envy is going to drop. Oh, my God. And Crit ended up killing off the Meepo as well. Yeah. Yep. This is tough. This is a really hard one. Arrow connects onto Earth Spirit. He is going to fall. No, they got another oh, Grave no. off. <laughs> Dazzle, he's been in the right place, right time, every time. EG taking no prisoners, but taking the base. RTZ, even just with the extra bit there, blinks forward, recovers the gem for them. So they lost one support, but didn't lose the gem. And now they're actually just going to try and close out the game, it looks like. Yeah, and you're not going to be able to be into rapier territory even because he had to buy back in that fight. So Oh, the arrow. Oh, wait, no, it's there. Now. It's there. It's actually, he does have it. It's on the courier. They're trying to bring it back to him. This might be an opportunity here. It's going to be able to have a huge increase in the damage. The right click's coming through. He takes down one. Can he find more? They're leaping forward, trying to bring down Arteezy. They have the Glimmer Keep there to keep him alive. This might be enough if they can contain him just long enough. They're chasing. There's the Manta Dodge trying to escape. The right click's coming. It's going to kill off Universe. Oh. Envy did it. Oh, baby. <laughs> Envy, show him who's boss, baby. Oh, Divine Rapier at just the perfect time. Well, this has certainly turned into something I don't think many people were expecting. And Abaddon does go back for that Ag Scepter. So this is now a moment where you have another saving mechanism for Marana outside of her normal kit, and they're going in to contest Roshan. Will they get there in time, though, is the big question. It's dropping very low. 1437, he gets the split earth. Oh. Arrow almost connects. Oh, the Blade Fairy, but Envy jumps in. Can he bring him down in time? The Abyssal Blade controlling him for the moment with the right clicks. Omni Slash is there. Envy is dropping low, but he is going to be able to get the Aegis. Oh. Arteezy got the Aegis instead, takes down Envy. Rapier on the ground, and it looks like actually it's going to be Leshrac who picks it up. The big body right clicks coming in from 1437. He's never had so much net worth in his life, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, Crit is there. They stun onto Bane, trying to bring them all down. Abaddon, he will have his ulti back up in 10 seconds, but it doesn't look like it's going to be soon enough as they'll be able to bring him down as well. Oh, it was a dream for a moment. 
I, oh, Lyrical, I so badly wanted to see this game stretch out longer with the Envy holding that Divine Rapier, but I don't know how he did it, but Arteezy managed to grab that Aegis before, uh, before Envy could. I'm not sure if he did it, like, while he was still Omni Slashing onto Envy. As soon as that Aegis was, was picked up by the Juggernaut instead of Envy, you knew it was over.